Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Let's take a look around, well, whatever this continent is called, and grab some treasure! I know you're kind of living here in the middle of the desert all alone. Oh, okay. So this is where Marco went after he brutally slaughtered my party. Now, now that was another game. No clip? No, not this time, viewers. But, yeah, well, let's check out Pora Village down here and get a strength capsule for Chrono there. Oh! When did I get that Ambrosia? What is... I don't even know what that does. Isn't that like a, a random effect or something? Huh, that's weird. Well, anyway... All right! More party members! Nuts. Uh, he said the armor's really heavy. So, well, duh. Okay, so anyway, while we are here, we do want to get some armor because we are not that pitifully weak. We want to get two of those berets and two golden suits there. Uh, golden suits are for men only. The poor and berets are, well, for women only. Oh, the golden suit isn't for women only. I forgot. Well, whatever. I, I'm thinking of the golden helmets that were for men only. I misspoke. But yeah, you do want to give the golden armor, or whatever that was, to Marley there. And I'll list my setup in the video description there. What? Hmm. Aw, oh, little Tata. Uh, no, I hadn't. Where is this hero, Tata? For some reason, I thought Frog was going to be the hero, but, uh, hmm. Sure, why not? He's kind of like the Morn of the game from Deep Space Nine. Oh, well, remember that for later years. But yeah, he's kind of just that guy that everyone, all the fans of the game love him, even though he's really a very minor character and has almost nothing to do with the plot. And he always hangs out in bars. Oh, huh. Remember that for later, too, viewers. This game doesn't keep the notes for you, viewers, and well, neither do I. Well, I mean, I have notes, but they're here, not in the video. Good for you, man. Must be all that oatmeal. I don't think I've ever had oatmeal in my life. Like, ever. I usually eat normal cereal. Like, I don't know. Cheetos or Frosted Mini Wheats or something like that. Something high fiber. Yeah, we got some chests there, but we can't do anything with those yet. Hmm. If only... Sadly, we do not have some spiced jerky. If you went back to 1000 AD to the snail shop in Poor Village and bought the spiced jerky for 9,900 gold, you could come back here and give it to her. But, well, there's, I didn't want to do that, not just to make things different from the original LP. Oh, the hero's badge, huh? What about the medal? Now, they call it a badge in this game. Oh, okay, well, we might want to head on up there, then. But first things first, let's go investigate that forest with the frog there that we were told about. What was I talking about before? Uh, oh yeah, the spiced jerky. So yeah, you could do it now, but well, I want to save it for later, because well, I want to show off a little dialogue that I didn't show off in the original LP. Not that it's a big deal, but it's there. So, I'll try to mix things up a little bit, as long as it's not detrimental. Now, unfortunately, Chrono attacked the frog. So, yeah, those guys have that really annoying counterattack. Not that it's that annoying, just that the attack animation takes a while. Now, these guys, when you attack them, they will suck your blood! Or, no, no, they'll suck the blood out of other enemies in the battle, and well, if they survive, they would suck it out of their enemies. Or, not their enemies. Each of their allies. 
I don't think these guys will actually suck the HP out of you, though. It certainly doesn't suck that much. Hmm. I'm looking for someone around here. Now, around here, there's a rare enemy you can meet up with sometimes. But I can't seem to find it. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll find it on the return trip. I'll see what I can do. If not, well, we'll come back here later. Who goes there? What, were you on the ceiling? Where did you come from? Oh, yeah, weren't you there? I should not be with them at Guardia because I'm not worthy. Oh no, they were injured because I wasn't there for them. Well, we get another magic scarf there, and uh, even if you tried opening that chest on the left there, you uh, you can't open it. Yeah, frog's not getting out of the way. You can't open that chest there for now. Hmm, couldn't find that enemy there. Oh well. I wonder if I got that in the original LP. I forget. Okay, well, there's nothing there we can do with Frog. I really just went there just to get the dialogue and get the magic scarf there. Yeah, let's do that. Now, this time around, I'm going to... I'm not going to bring Robo with me yet because I want Marley to learn a new tech. Like, in the original LP, what I wanted to do was I used Robo a lot because I wanted to learn his heal beam tech, which is really good. It's a multi-targeting heal, healing ability. Yeah, we seem to be doing good. So yeah, I mean, it's just a really good ability to have. But this time around, I want to take things a little more balanced and because I don't think I need to play it that conservatively. Either way, now you see the goblins on the bottom there, they are weak to fire! So use flamethrower on them and well, you'll deal some pretty good damage to them. Very cost effective. You don't even need to use the fire spell, just fire, flame whirl, that'll do the trick. Let's see, is there anything over here? No. No, we're good. So let's go and grab this hidden treasure! The Mirage Hand. Why they have robotic weapons at this place in 600 AD, I don't know. You got me on that one, dudes. Well, hey, there's the hero. Charlie Brown, is that you? No, no, that wasn't him. But this guy is... dead. Oh, that was easy. Oh. What are you doing here? Just going off on an adventure? Six-year-olds can't save the world. Now this guy is a different breed of cat altogether. He's an Ogin, I think his name is. Now remember what they were telling us back at the Donatoro Inn? Set their weapons on fire and they will die. They become a lot weaker. So it makes life a lot easier. You could use fire on them again and deal more damage, but well, we got the Berserker Ring. So, yeah, this area is where the Berserker Ring will really shine. It is so good. Hey, wake up! Okay, don't wake up. Or you can wake up now. Why not? Please attack the guy on the left. Yeah! Yeah, if he didn't have the Berserker Ring on Chrono there, he wouldn't even be able to one-shot that guy. But because we do, it works! Yeah, I could just blast my way through the battles. Usually to kill those guys, I would have the those freelancers on the left there, I'd have to use like a cyclone or a rocket punch or something a little stronger than just a regular attack. So this really helps to conserve MP. And we get a little more money. Awesome. Must have been the, the monster's secret savings. Wow. Yeah, you can avoid that guy. He's just kind of hiding there in the trees. They just came out of the trees, man. They just came out of the trees. Well, literally. Uh-oh. Hey, he just came out of the trees, too. 
Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother editing out this battle. I'll just talk right through it. If I can one-chat them, that's good enough for me. Too bad they don't have a fast-forwarding option. Not that this game really needs it, though. Like, if they ever remake Final Fantasy IX, let's say, that would be really nice if they had a fast-forwarding option. Hey, I love the game. It's my second favorite in the whole series. But, yeah, I can admit the attack animations were a bit slow in that game. Would be nice to have a fast-forwarding option. Like another game that I'm playing right now. And here we get a Golden Helm. So, R Chrono already has one, so let's give that one to Robo. That's the one that only men can equip. Not that Robo's really a man. I mean, he's just a robot, but... For the purpose of equipping stuff, he's considered a man. So, just take my word for it. Ooh, a rainbow. And here we get a mini fur. One thing interesting about that chest there... I was looking up the in-game maps for the treasure lists here. And, uh, oh. And, uh, I was looking it up, and on the in-game maps, in the bonus section of the game, it says that that chest there contains a mid-potion, yet in the original game, and as you just saw just now, it contained a mid-ether. So, eh, just a little mistake there, but, uh, well, whatever. Uh, game? I was expecting that last battle to have more enemies, which is why I was being quiet there, but I was like, wait, what? Uh, game? W where's the enemies? There's supposed to be, like, a string of, like, three or four battles here. Where'd they go? I need the tech points, game. And what a dip! Come on, game. If you know why I can't find these guys, viewers, let me know. This has never happened to me before. Huh. That's weird. Am I just, like, not getting on the right pixel? How close are you, Marley? Aw, oh, come on! I, I want her to learn Cure, and then I'm gonna bring Robo into the party so that way he can work on his next tech. But, hmm. Can't seem to find those guys. I... Really don't know what happened, viewers. You got me on that one. But anyway, we get a mid ether there. And let's see, you wanna go left down here? Oh, you know, I forgot a chest up there. Well, I'll pick it up next time, don't worry about it. And there we get the silver stud, which cuts your MP costs in half. So that's pretty nice. Here we get a silver earring. Awesome. Let me see if I can get those enemies to show up again. You go over here, and you're back up here. So, man, I don't know what happened. Usually I run into those battles around here. Uh, man, I don't know what to tell you, viewers. Like I said, if you know what happened here, uh, let me know. I don't, I don't know. But can we find the Masamune here and defuse the situation? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!